One of my favourite objects is the rugby football, which prisoners interned at Frongoch in North Wales after the Rising used to play Gaelic football in a nearby field that they nicknamed Crow Park. I like this object because of its connected stories and how it resonates with some of our younger visitors. Among the 1800 prisoners interned at Frongoch were Michael Collins and W.T. Cosgrave. The men organised language classes, craftworks and sports, as well as political debate. It's no wonder that it was later known as Old School Narev Loja, or the University of Revolution. Being in Wales, the prisoners found it easier to acquire an oval rugby ball, which they pumped out of shape to resemble a round Gaelic football. For obvious reasons, hurling was not allowed. Among the prisoners were All-Ireland winners Dick Fitzgerald of Kerry and Frank Shoulders of Dublin. Frank Burke, also of Dublin, would go on to win three football and two hurling All-Irelands and become headmaster of St Enda's School in Ratfarnham, founded by Patrick Pearce. The story of this Croke Park at Frongoch truly came to life when in June 2016, in the same field, the British Provincial Junior Football Final was played between Hertfordshire and Yorkshire, a hundred years after it had been graced by two teams of 1916 rebels. This football is an inspiring symbol of resilience, showing how men incarcerated in an internment camp in Britain maintained their identity, self-esteem and fitness by taking part in their own games, remembering the world, the activities and the teams that they had left behind, but maintaining their spirits, togetherness and future hopes for when their lives, their country and their nation would return to normality.